Um, Mid triple is uh, we went to Harding University in Arkansas, and uh, we'd sort of heard of it, didn't really understand it. We went to them, and basically, it's uh, it's it's the mid line, but it's it has a pitch with it, and it's it's if you don't have a tremendous speed, it helps you get guys on the edge faster. Um, what we we really ran into was that people were rolling their safeties like crazy to our motion, and so what we do is the uh, you know the, the play side slot goes in motion on the D of down, which is our snap counts down, ready, set, go. So he goes in motion, you know, and get these safeties pushing, rolling down, ready for option this way or rocket this way, and we come back and this safety the the Z or the right side slot here, he is circling. And he is trying to hook this safety. It's already rolling. And it's just like midline. We're, you know, we're reading these two guys right here. We're let, that's two less guys you got to block. Makes it easier. And so, uh, you know, it's just like if you run the midline, fullback's going right up the midline of the center. We're going to try to double this nose off the ball, working the backside backer with the right guard and center. Left guard is taking a path. He's stepping, you know, taking his scoop pass. So if the nose slants to the left, we can cut him off. And then the backside tackle, we're, we're just chopping it. We're cutting this guy inside of us right here. Uh, the, the whole point of this play for it to work and really be successful is this back on this side has to be at the hand line of the fullback, not the heel line. When I say hand line, what I mean is when the ball snaps, I mean, he's got to go. He's dead sprint on the snap. He should be right here behind the quarterback on the snap of the ball. So if both of these guys – come crashing down, you know, if he takes dive and he crashes for quarterback, he, you know, he needs to expect a pitch right there. And he is circling. He is trying to get in the alley as fast as he can right here because we're going to circle and hook this guy. Got to make a good stalk. You can also crack and wheel this where, um, you know, your X is cracking and your slot's you know, he's trying to circle the corner right here because most time people we play, play man, and we keep going. Uh, but once I'm telling you, this is a lethal play. And like I say, the, where I'm at, we don't have just a ton of athletes. I mean, we've got guys that work hard and make 30s on their ACT. But as far as, you know, D1 athletes, we don't have them. See there, the pitch was bad. Um, and it all goes down to the time, and I'm going to bet you – when we snapped the ball, he wasn't even where the fullback came from. That's why he was a step off on his motion. Like I said, this was another region game. This was a barn burner at the end. We had to run the clock out. And we struggled with them a little bit because this is a prime example. They were an odd front. I'll rewind it to the back here. This is just so – this is what – if you really start doing this stuff – this is what you'll run into. Now, this is the defense everybody's going to try to put in against you. That's what we found this year. Is they were This team was a 3-4, you know, I call it the TDP, the Bill Clark total defensive package. You know, you can buy it in a book like you can the Tony Franklin system. But against us, they were they were twos, four eyes, and then sevens. They were, they were right here. They were 6-1. And so it took us a little bit. And there's different – the mid-triple, if I had more time, there's a ton of tags – the Harding, um, and I can share those clips with you if you uh, you guys are watching this. If you'll email me or message me on Twitter, I can share it with you on Huddle. But there's all kinds of tags for this. And so, um, you know, normally we'd go here. Let me get the end zone shot where you can see it better. You know, they, they're filling up every gap inside, and they got these guys sitting on the edge. You know, you got a Boston tag where you go up to this. This guy goes to the safety the slot wraps around for the linebacker. Okay. It's, it's just to screw with the defense. And um, we started doing that a little bit as this game progressed. They did a pretty good job of trying to scheme us up right here. Like, so there was that extra guy floating out there. We weren't accounting for, and we had to, one of those deals had to get on the sidelines on the TV and get it fixed.
330 and 331 Viking. And that's the play action pass off of this. Well, get it there. Hold on. All right. And what we're doing, we like to run this out of tight because that's why it's so big for that guy to go block this safety and tie. He's got to go block the safety, block the safety all night, lull him to sleep. This guy all night has been trying to circle this corner. He's trying to you – know, he's going in his motion. He's coming here. He's circling. This guy all night long has been trying to block that guy. Well, now when we call 331 Viking, we're going to we're going to take advantage of these guys being super over-aggressive. The minute you see this guy down the box making a tackle or this guy flying up on pitch, you got to call this. And we were big, we ran this a lot on second and one. You know, we, we would run this. Sometimes we'd go back to back with it. We, we would bust them, and then they would be overly aggressive. And then you take your backside guy, and all he's doing, he's just – he's slow dragging to this hole right here. He's trying to get in that hole where if we go and both these guys bail, when this guy sees dive, he's stepping down. When this guy sees dive, he's stepping down. And the pass protection is really simple. The play side tackle has got outside. He's got C gap, play side guards, got B gap. If we have a nose guard, which we have 90% of the time, our center is going to block him. Our rule is if you're if their hand's in the ground, I want a guy with his hand in the ground block. And our fullback's checking both A gaps. He's, so if the nose slants here, the center's going to have him. He knows I've got to step backside A. Same principle. If he slants here, he's got to step here. After he just clamps like he's, you know, token fake, clamps and gets ready to block. Backside guy has B, backside guy has C. It's just old school, big on big, basically. And um, what we're doing is we're bringing this guy off the edge to help with any edge pressure. After he fakes the pitch, he's inserting right in here from where he left from. He's inserting right here just to help out. If they got a real dude right here, a lot of times we'll come around and he's chipping his outside shoulder to keep him getting. And the quarterback's just – Mid triple fake, one, two, three, throw. One, two, three, throw. He can't hold on to the ball. Can't hold on to the ball. That's, that was our biggest deal this year was just convincing our guy to not hold the ball forever and let stuff open up. Okay, and we'll look at some clips. You see a lot of clips of us dropping passes, guys. It's uh, throwing and catching. Now, we had some times we threw the ball well. You know, I think we threw for about 850 yards in 11 games. Probably should have had more if you sell these drops we have. He's, you know, right here, quarterback. We're running out of spread. We should have ran out of tight. This was a bad call on my part. But really, what, what should have happened right here, you say number one, we should have just lobbed it to him in the end zone. But what we tried to do, because, you know, when you run this, in all practical purposes, this is the guy that should be open. And our quarterback, this is his first year as a starter, and he would lock in on guys he thought was going to be the guy to throw it to sometimes instead of just letting it progress out. And so, you know, it, you deal with that. Anybody, you know, teenage kids, you know, he should, he should have lobbed it to one here in the end zone, but he tried to force it to nine. And so it's one of those deals where, you know, kids get frustrated, you can see, and – field goal team comes on the field, but it was there. We just – I should have ran it out tight. You see the protection here. See, our, our, our fullback reads our center going to his right, so he immediately – he immediately feels the left – get left A gap. You can see right here he immediately feels it. Boom, right there. He's looking for anything that comes. He did a poor job. He's got to set his feet. That's one thing next year we're going to get a better job of pass protection out of our backs. First year in doing this stuff, we we probably didn't spend as much time on it as we should have. You know, he's got to, he's got to square his feet. See, 2033 decides to come at the last minute.
Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data, and you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.